So, hello everyone and welcome back to Let's in the Cream Rock 2 where while we were at it, uh, or while I was uh, off screen, I tried to do a little bit of an inventory management so that I wouldn't be carrying quite that ridiculous stuff or quite as much. This has also grown one extra one. I was thinking that we could also look into the alchemical stuff. I do wonder so though if there should be a golden key place area here somewhere considering that there's a golden key. So it's slightly suspicious to me considering we already got the key for the other place where there was a gold key needed so it just would seem logical that there should be one here in Twickroot Forest, but I haven't seen a location. There was that one confusing button and there is that sign that is confusing, but otherwise I'm not sure. But yeah, here I just uh, put a couple of few things that I don't think that I need and was thinking of leaving them there. I do, however need to go and pick one more item from here. I did also go and pick one of these, which I had accidentally left behind in here. But here also... I had pressed this right? Or had I not at all even? I'm not sure, but anyways, I noticed to think that I didn't have this even though I thought that I should be having it, so... I was slightly confused, but yeah, I didn't... <laughs> the second time I didn't even come and pick this up when I did visit here before, but then now I didn't at all, which was uh, very silly of me, yes. I could wear this, considering it's not like it's that big of an issue necessarily. Um, I guess we could do it like this then. Uh, that is nonetheless like I'm at least going to get the light armor either to him or to her. So I guess that's fine. I guess you can we can keep one of these around though just to just to be on the sure side. <sighs> I have too much stuff. Plus one protection. Well, at least you can wear heavy armor and then the few p extra pellets. But very silly considering I thought that I came here again, but I somehow completely forgot to do that. Oh well. Was able to do that quickly now nonetheless. And we did get the chest over there, but there was then the issue of the... Um, I had more equipment than I could carry, so I buried some of it right between the two landers in the eastern Twickroot forest. So somewhere around here should be a treasure chest, and here at least is a lantern and a lantern, so I would assume that somewhere around here? Question mark? Yes, it's right here. And I should have a lockpick one more, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Ooh, but that is a dumb leadership. Oh, um, okay, that's very interesting. Gain party leader trait. Other party members receive plus one bonus to all attributes as long as the party leader is alive. Huh. That is a very interesting book. Very, very interesting book. I have no idea who we should be giving that to, to be honest. So this thick book is filled with the teachings of legendary generals, enlightened spiritual leaders, and wise sages. I don't still think that we should be giving it to her. Even though as sons, when she is shooting the gun, it's not like she really is using the stats as I understand. Like, this doesn't actually require any stats. So in that sense, she could be a good option and she is in the back row. But otherwise, and she has died a lot more times than anyone else thus far. But it's not like she's going to be dying all the time anymore, considering she is in the back row. Battle Mage I kind of don't even want to put into that role because I would love to get a stat boost for him. And I would as sus love to get stat boost for her as well and I would love to get the stat boost for him. But of course it's a question like... Uh, I, In some sense I almost wish that I had maybe given the health potion to her and... Uh, then she could be very easily this one, the leader of the party. <laughs> uh, rattling 
um, pistolier leader. But as such, that could be a good option. Hmm. Because all the attributes are getting a bonus as long as she would then be alive. And she hasn't usually been the one to die first. I would especially have to be taking, of course, care then that she would be on the area that no one else would be able to try to at least hit. If I do wish to give it to her. On the other hand, she isn't able to necessarily stay alive otherwise that easily. Considering she doesn't have a lot of protection nor evasion. She could in the future have a lot of evasion, so in the long run she might be a bit better option for it. But that's the thing, in the long run. Not right right now, but in the long run. So, and I gave her a little bit of food as well because he couldn't carry, carry too much anymore. Oh, and uh, I thought that I could give the cudgel to him uh, nonetheless in the, uh, as the secondary slot weapon considering he can actually use this a uh, special attack now, Pash. A bone shattering blow that deals double damage. The attack ignores 10 points of enemy's armor. So that's pretty nice. We can use this and do that. So that's pretty nice. Alright, while I'm thinking about this, let's see about crafting some maybe new potions though. And actually, yeah, now we are able to. We get the type 4. Alchemy, so we are actually even able to craft better potions, which is going to be lovely because that's that's going to give us so much more <sighs> So much more on this this stuff. Maybe I should give put this into here and just abandon the rest of those to be honest because It's starting to be a bit too much And you should um, We're not going to get more of those and we can't wear that for a long time anyway, so Let's just abandon that thing. We don't really need that anymore, but I don't really want to just throw it out, so... Um, but I didn't even have more mana potions anymore left, so that's sort of nice. But now we can have something. Then, what about, can we now do something with this? And apparently we can. We can do bombs. Sweet. So that is specifically a bomb ingredient. Yeah, this is poison bolt then, or poison bomb. And but I don't want to be using any of those before I get the alchemy level five, considering the fact that like it's then we are going to get three and not just a two, which would be a lot nicer. Um, that's the rage potion. That's the antidote. No idea what that is. That is... was that a shield potion? Yes. So shield potion with those two. Those two don't seem to be doing anything special. Purple is probably the cure poison. Because that's at least what it used to be before. Let's at least make a health potion, at least two health potion regardless because we are going to be needing them. Let's put those into their inventories for the moment. Um, I don't think I know this either, though. I don't know if there's any combinations that would use tree like this, though. Hmm. Haven't yet at least figured anything out other than that. Oh, that's the same like this. This is a speed potion, so if I put two... And one together of these, I would be able to get another speed potion. Huh. Should I craft one? Like, we have plenty of this blue stuff especially. So we could, and we do have enough of this so that we can spend a little bit. Just to make sure that it is indeed the speed potion. It is indeed. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, you're carrying again two mods. That's... that sucks. Just always carrying way too much. But it's probably better that I don't actually have them stacked just for the very reason that uh, I already had the issue that I accidentally drank two potions when I didn't want to. So that would be very saddening if that happened. Oh yeah, you can't carry that much unless you have your skull. <laughs> well, at least you have the one skull. At least you have the one skull. Let's see about what this is then as well. Potion of bear form. 
that's interesting. Like, we transform into a bear with someone who drinks it. Probably best with someone who is actually stronger. We really, really need to eat something. Obey. Who is hungriest? I guess you are the hungriest. Just eat that egg away then. I can't, I can't do this. We have too much stuff. Ah. That will, of course, help quite a bit when I just do that. Not gonna use the last one. Um, I'm not even sure what the green is. Huh. Green alone. I, I don't know even that one. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, rather do something like this, though. Just to have a little bit more like that. Interesting, though, that those still don't seem to be making anything. But these are going to be nice, especially when we got more health. Like, the Minotaur, for example, is going to be... Well, it should be very good that uh, he's got one. Let's just uh, make one for you as well, at least. So, then everyone else, rather than you, has one. So, you do put, again, it be dropping something away. Um, plus four and plus four. Like, this isn't as sus as good, these ones, protection-wise, but... Mm, that is five kilograms, I guess. I should just try to remember that I've left a lot of stuff over here. Because, yeah. Or I can carry that and then leave something else behind, like, or eat some more food. Ah, annoyance. But yeah, I don't think that I can be crafting even more. Mm, I really gotta be making a decision about that, though. Uh, you didn't have any boots, but that doesn't really help. Should you be the leader? It is still like, if you use the flint block at least, and you don't get any bonuses. Then everyone else would be able to get bonuses. He would be able to get bonuses. He would be able to get a bonus. And she would be able to get a bonus. I guess I'll make you the leader. I just need to then make sure that you wouldn't die. Master Vice Bound gained party leader trait. Huh. Well, that, that was definitely nonetheless an interesting book. Very interesting book. But anyways, then we do have choices. What do we exactly want to be doing this time around? Or now, after we have uh, completed, at least mostly, the Twig Fruit Forest. Um, I don't think I want to go and try to do the challenge, the Earth Elemental Challenge, yet. The Earth Elemental Challenge is still going to be difficult because there's quite a lot of them around. Even if we can go and try to do... Well, first of all, I want to anyways go and practice this against some opponent first. But yeah, it at least like it doesn't allow me to move into it. And I assume that it can be made on top of uh, some enemy as well. That's my assumption. It does last a relatively okay amount of time. So that should be very interesting regardless. And I'm thinking that maybe the lightning bolt, if we consider what it is, maybe I would need and need fire. But I'm just hoping that I could use water rather, because I would have liked to rather have water magic with air rather than air and fire, for example. I just most people use fire. I don't want to use fire, but well, maybe I should get it regardless. But I'll I'll consider it. And I don't want to go to the earth elemental because there's. A high likelihood that I'll lose someone. I don't want to go there before I know that uh, I know some location where there would be a life crystal. I'm thinking that the Sleet Island I can probably get into from the water as well. Like the swamp is definitely something that also the gate most likely will lead into. Right like there because it's the same area pretty much so. Definitely has to be something that that will lead into as well. I'm not sure. Probably that still would be the easier area than the Sleet Island. But let's at least try to check out this first. And uh, just save in front of this because... The Shrine of Pain doesn't sound very nice. I probably will die here to be honest. It's first of all I would love to know... If this means that I will just simply put die straight away if the spikes even touch me once, because I have no idea. 
But yeah, they go from there into there. Then they again come from there, and then they start the route again. Um, okay. It didn't even hurt me before. Now it did hurt me quite a lot. But before it didn't even. I... I do question this though, because I didn't see anything. I saw nothing. I saw nothing that should be like... And there was just those spikes there as gates. Huh. Interesting. I guess I'll s sleep for a little bit. But that did hurt a lot. At least it didn't kill me straight away, but it did hurt. Huh. Though. Hmm. Like, there's a... Like, somehow like that you can completely avoid the damage. But I didn't see anything there either. Which is slightly interesting. But I did learn the rhythm that it's doing here. Which is sort of nice, I guess. Hmm. I didn't look into there better, though. Oh. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go, then. I didn't notice that at all. There is definitely that still there, which is also interesting. Well, there is a letter, though. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm hopeful that my little trap only broke a few bones and you are still able to proceed on your heroic journey, the Island Master. Yes, they didn't even broke a couple of bones, to be honest. Just the uh, one time that it hit me, so it wasn't really that bad. But there's uh, the chest right there. Huh. I wonder how I'm supposed to get the chat's chest, because I can't get to there from here. I can't get from this spot. I don't see anything there, though, that would open it. Let's have a look into here first, I guess. Hmm. Oh. I did, shouldn't, should have moved. I should have moved. That was decent enough. If he's not going to move, then I guess I'm going to do something like this. Well, he is going to move now. It's just a question which side he's going to be moving. Ah, jammed. Well, you didn't uh, surprise me too bad there, though. I do like the shield, too. That I can easily say. There is actually a something like a platform here. And a little bit of a mushroom. And here is some other way. Alright, this takes to the Sleet Island then. Quite clearly enough. As well, rather than just the watery route. I'm sure that the watery route would have also worked though. I'm pretty sure then. Okay. What is something that I'm okay to drop here? Hmm... In all reality, I don't really need this, so... Well, that's good. At least I have a way to always get easily then around that, so I don't need to be dealing with that anymore. But that doesn't solve the issue of getting into that chest. Unless that's the... But it's not the chest, because it was... There was another chest that I saw before, but where I wasn't able to get to. Huh. Is there a button that I'm missing there? It's a possibility. Yes, I was. I was just looking that that actually looked like something. So it was very difficult to spot, but I don't have any lockpicks anyways. <laughs> so it's not like it's actually going to be of any use at the moment. But yeah, I just need to get again more lockpicks. <sighs> again, more lockpicks. 
that that's a very tricky little little thing to spot very much indeed but well I can get it in the future yes well hey that's that's solved I'll, I'll save for that nonetheless I guess I can have a peek into this lead island then